Right, hey guys, how are we doing? Back with another video from Six featuring Swag Kage. We've got a Rich Maru versus Kisame. Now, I think Kisame's got this. I'm just gonna say. Class is one of the tailless beasts. Tailless tails beasts. Very powerful. Stuff that he did before he died. Dude was was a monster. And I know we can say the same for Roshmar, he can do his whole snake thing, and actually, now that I think about it, that form he took against Itachi, I think that's really good where it's going to come down to, isn't it? Which of the two end transformations is the strongest? But I don't know, that's, that's up for Swagagi and Six to decide, isn't it? It's their discussion, it's not me, I'm just speculating what this could be about, and then we're going to get into it, we're going to check it out, and then we're going to discuss it, and we're going to have a good time. Check out my Etsy shop. <laughs> T-shirts and hoodies are there for you to uh, check out. And if you want to have your name at the end of video, every video I upload, links go to the Patreon page. One dollar one slash split channel. Let's get right into the video. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Swag Kage here. I That's not the voice of Swag Kage. I call shenanigans. I have a, a guest with me. <laughs> 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 um, hello. <laughs> We're going to be talking about Orochimaru versus Kisame at different points in this series. Obviously, that's the the way they make versus battles right. the most entertaining. At so, the risk of messing with the pace of the video, I would like to point out early here before we actually get into the meat of the conversation that this is something that, uh, like, a question that people have asked me a surprising amount of times. Okay. Like, it's really weird. Super and surprising. a lot of the times I would get, like, stunlocked by it. I was just like, that is a good question. Orochimaru versus Kisame, who would win? Mm, it's yeah. like the rare matchup that, you know, I see on Twitter or my YouTube comments where I don't immediately know the answer. the answer. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or on okay. streams. Like people donate yeah. massive amounts of money you to learn the know. answer to this question. Who knows? Um, yeah, so and I'm answer? just like, they might. usually we'll in Naruto out. when people ask these questions, it's like a stomp or something I have a very strong opinion on, but this was something I hadn't really thought about before. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And it always fades away like in the moment. Like after they ask yeah. it, it's like, oh, never think about it again. But yeah, exactly. now yeah. we have the answer. So if you ever have the question, you can just look back at this video. All right. Like I said, we're going to be splitting it up into different parts to make it more interesting. Uh -huh. The first part, we're just going to do um, Kisame in part one versus Orochimaru in part one. Hmm. And then we'll do like Seiko Orochimaru too. Like we'll throw him in there. Um, okay. Then we'll do the Orochimaru from the beginning of Shippuden versus Kisame at the beginning of Shippuden, which there's a big disparity there that I I'm super excited to touch on because I don't think I have before. Okay. Uh, then we'll do Fuse Kisame and like later on Orochimaru uh, and part one Orochimaru. But the thing with Fuse Kisame, we're going to do two separate rounds with him where one, we give him like the benefit of the doubt like with all the b chakra he had and the the terrain advantage oh, okay. and then the other one yeah, where yeah, yeah. it's just like normal fuse kisame like what he would have gotten if without the uh the b power up if he's fighting orochimaru and then you know we'll, we'll talk about boruto or orochimaru but not for long i guess to just get directly started with part one because you know this this one's kind of the easiest uh kisame loses yeah, Some... this is pretty blatant. Uh, Kishimoto goes out of his way to illustrate the difference between uh, Sanin and initially it seemed like generally the power level of a member of the Akatsuki, but it seems like he kind of changed his mind about that. Okay. Um, there, there's a lot of conversation about this uh, whenever Naruto versus Battles come up because Jiraiya and Itachi are two very popular characters and it's a fairly popular versus battle matchup. And something that I've had to clear up many, many times is that even if Kishimoto's intent in the moment was for Jiraiya to be stronger than Itachi, this is not actually uh like how it ended up playing out in the series um itachi was clearly just holding back there yeah, and yeah, ran yeah. away because he didn't want to fight a comrade but yeah. with kisame he doesn't have any ulterior motive yeah he's not an undercover akatsuki member he's an actual well, member uh, yeah, of yeah, yeah he's in it and he ran too and in his conversation with itachi he didn't think he could have won at all and then if you're going to say that like Orochimaru and Jiraiya and Sonata are all kind of relative. All right. 
Yeah. He's like, maybe you could have done it, Itachi, but not me. And he brings up their titles, you know, um, like he he mentions that Jiraiya is a member of the Sanin and how the title just has so much more prestige and weight than the title of the Seven Ninja Swordsman. Uh, this is kind of weird. Now, this isn't wow, something you necessarily right. have to agree with, but Kisame talks about himself as a member of the Seven Ninja Swordsman, like it's indicative of how strong he is. Yep. So in part one, he might have been fairly close to somebody like Zabuza or maybe one of the more powerful members like Mangetsu in okay. power. Uh, it's it's not clear, and I'm not like definitively claiming that that's the case or anything like that. But it, it's just he doesn't like in part two. It's pretty apparent that he has massively outclassed the rest of the Seven Swordsmen. Uh, by like like th there's just no comparison uh between kisame and anybody from that group but you know he doesn't really seem to like want to abandon those roots like he seems like he thinks it's um a big deal like uh like that prestige is something to be proud of like when uh you know he brings it up so um i think that he thinks he would lose to orochimaru yeah. and that's just based off of his own assessment too if you go into feats and stuff orochimaru clearly takes it uh, Kakashi was doing a much better job against Kisame than, I mean, he he thought he ever could have done against Orochimaru. Like, he, he straight up started yeah. sweating after Orochimaru. Very true as well. Yeah, if you're going to make them all relatives, then yeah, yeah, yeah. Or left the room just from thinking about what would have happened if they fought. But yeah. uh, Itachi didn't think it was a good idea for Kisame to even engage one of Kakashi's clones. And so. The Kakashi clone didn't match him. Like, it, it just straight yeah. up matches him, copies his jutsu, launches it. And then Guy, who's around Kakashi's level, in base, by the way, he just comes in completely just, yeah, speed blitzes yeah, Kisame yeah. In, in base. Exactly. As well. So that's going to be really important. Kisame really does improve between part one and Shippuden, doesn't he? Important for the, the next few rounds because we have to talk about Kisame's growth in between the two parts. So keep in mind that yeah. he's not only weaker than Jiraiya, but he's weaker than the top two Leaf Jonin guy and Kakashi. Kakashi yeah, yeah. And a Kakashi yeah. clone at that. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty clear. He just kind of gets cooked here. Um, Orochimaru's got like, you know, he could put a curse mark on him. He can paralyze him. He's obviously got poisons and whatnot. There's Manda. And then Kisame in part one doesn't really have the huge arsenal that he does in part two. Like with his gigantic water bubble and all of his chakra absorption jutsu. Those really only come later on in part one. Or, I'm sorry, in part two. In part one, the really only chakra absorbing thing he has is Samehada. Um, and, and that's not going to do much against Orochimaru either. Yeah. Because we saw in the fight with B that Samehada is attracted to certain types of chakra. It specifically mentions, Kisame mentions, that Samehada is very attracted to B's octopus flavored chakra. And Kisame. So actually and starts stuff, yeah. to get massive help from Samehada in that fight because Samehada just wants to get more of these chakra. So do you reckon it would be quite enticed with like Orochimaru's snake-like chakra though? When he's fused, he specifically says that he, his body starts tingling because he can feel Samehada inside of him just wanting to get more of B's chakra and then you know in the end Samehada ends up turning on yeah, Kisame just him, just to go with B because he liked his chakra that much and we see Samehada doesn't like some chakra like fire chakra he gets mad at uh, B for swinging him towards a fire style jutsu and overall Orochimaru's chakra is stated to be very foul over and over again by Karin, whenever she's running up to Sasuke after he got knocked out by Madara in the war, she like there's some nasty chakra by Sasuke, and it's the Orochimaru chakra within Kabuto that she's feeling. Wow. So right, yeah. Samehada does not really gonna be absorbing Orochimaru's chakra. It's just too foul and nasty. So I guess we can just get you know started with with part two. Yeah. Um, this is where I really want to highlight the difference. And how much stronger Kisame got Seems between it. these Jesus two Christ. parts. Yeah, yeah. So we mentioned earlier, he's weaker than the Kakashi clone and he's weaker than Guy. 100%. Right. Then he fights Guy again as a 30% clone. Yeah. And he's overpowering him pretty easily. Yeah, like Kisame and Itachi had like clones at 30% what their power was and they were pretty, they did a 
pretty damn good job of beating up Guy Kashi. And Guy thinks that he's forced to go into is it the fifth or is it the sixth gate? The sixth. So yeah, so Guy thinks he has to go into the sixth gate just to beat Kisame, a thirty percent clone at that. So that's a massive jump in yeah. power between the two parts, possibly dozens of times over. And that's just on this 30% clone. So it's also worth mentioning that Guy wasn't alone either. Guy yeah. had his whole team with him. And <laughs> yeah. Neji was not that it adds a lot, but yeah, there's still other people there. The Joni at this point. So while Neji is kind of feetless at the time that this happens, uh, he does have the prestige of being Jonin, at least. Mm, so it's got, not like Guy's yeah, yeah. team was a non-factor, but Kisame treated them uh, like, like they were. They were yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like uh, his clone made water clones, and they all just dismissed uh, Neji. Yeah, so like a clone at 30% made more clones, <laughs> which would have been weaker because that's the way clones work. Huh. Lee and Tenten, they all got trapped in water prisons. And then he still, like, Guy still thought that he had to use the sixth gate to beat him. Yeah. So, like we just said, that's just a massive jump in power for Kisame. Um, whether or not it makes him as strong as Orochimaru, I mean, maybe, or like, Armless Orochimaru for sure. Right? Like, we agree. Like, Armless Orochimaru yes. would get beaten up by Kisame. Now, this is only in the anime, but... It is stated that Jiraiya, whenever he fights Orochimaru, uh, Tsunade, and you know, they do the three-way deadlock, I think it's stated Jiraiya is at around 30% of his normal power in that fight. Again, the statement does not exist in the manga, so if you don't want to it's take it, it's just in the anime, right? But it's stated so. he's around 30% in that fight, and Orochimaru is like keeping up with him. They're, they're like relative, Orochimaru is clearly winning. So I guess that sort of quantifies the armless nerf for you because people generally agree that base to base Orochimaru is stronger than Jiraiya. They, they more so think like if Jiraiya is even going to be on the same level as Orochimaru, it's when he's activating his sage mode or something along those lines. Right, okay, Not that yeah. base to base they're comparable. So people generally think base Orochimaru is stronger than Jiraiya. And if you don't, you know, you think they're equal, whatever. Um, that means that he, his nerf from losing his arms was greater than 60%, closer to maybe uh, above 70%, since Jiraiya is at 30% and he's just keeping up with him and whatnot. So, that just goes to show basically just how nerfed he actually is. Mm. And then Kisame, you know, he's gotten over dozens of times stronger. Orochimaru has only gotten weaker. You know, you can you can make a pretty solid argument there that with the chakra absorption and whatnot, even though it's not going to be super massive like with B, that he might be able to pull a chakra absorption W and just beat up uh, like no arms Orochimaru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. You want to take it with Orochimaru versus the four tails versus Kisame? If we're talking about versus the clone. The Four Tails uh, fight Orochimaru seems to be massively more powerful than he was in Part 1. So I think that, like, that fight, Four Tails Orochimaru fight, or Four Tails Naruto fight Orochimaru, sorry, uh, should be able to sweep <laughs> that 30% power clone of Because right, okay. he's, like, reacting to Naruto's attacks. Uh, you know, like, like, the fight lasts for way longer. Then you'd it does go on it. for a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. And Rush Yamato looks at his ground Naruto a bit, like. and just straight up says, like, he declares he's never seen power like this before. Some way or another, Orochimaru seems to have adapted to his new circumstances in Shippuden. Not that he's stronger than he was in part no, one, yeah, yeah. but that yeah, he just he's, he's worked around it and he's, he's he's made himself a little bit more capable than he was. He's stronger than he was in part one without his arms, and I think he's enough of a threat that like a little mini kisame like a kisame projection like the one that he sent to slow down team guy is not gonna do the job he's definitely not gonna beat full power kisame obviously and we're gonna talk about that more in a little bit 
Like, he just has so many, even without his arms and the ability to use normal hand seal based ninjutsu, he has his snake substitutions, yeah, still so like, all these weird do, pseudo yeah. immortality abilities that I think, like, there, there's nothing that Kisame will be able to do, you know? Um, like, he'll go to, like, cut Orochimaru or use a big water jutsu or whatever. Orochimaru will dodge it, cut him with the Kusanagi blade or whatever, right? Probably what's going to happen. Then it's really just, like, you know, fused Kisame and whatnot, because in between here, well, like, Orochimaru dies, <laughs> basically. Yeah. And yeah. then Kisame is not really doing anything but being an Akatsuki member, you know, capturing Biju and whatnot. So maybe he's getting... Normal day in the Akatsuki. Any stronger, who knows? The, the next big milestone, obviously, is the, the B versus Kisame fight, in which B being relative to Kisame and base is probably true for sure but that would make Kisame in base like relative or at least around KCM Naruto's level and we were talking about this before hmm. recording that kind of just doesn't work um the main driving reason it doesn't work is because B's whole personality is sort of just to get stronger because of the Raikage like he's like oh yeah the word you said to me they just make me stronger. Like I, I go off of this, I train, I get stronger. That's what B does. Even when we first see B, B's training. The the first shot we get of the eight tail silhouette is B training. So B definitely trains. He was training with Naruto, and you know yeah. there was a war incoming. And like I said, it's his whole personality. So B getting stronger isn't really contentious or debatable. It's more so just implied and probable. Um, so I don't think that saying Kisame skills the KCM when Naruto is really valid at all. And then well, to you can kind of prove actually before you get on to your second point that he doesn't because Kakashi and Guy seemed sort of relative to if not a little bit weaker than naruto and b and seventh gate guy just like bullied kisame mm. in base so, yeah there you go and and that was kisame with more chakra because he took yes. it from Same Hara. exactly so i mean yeah he, he's he's not really on that kcm one level i mean and then too when kisame was in Same Hara, like fresh new kcm naruto just speed blitzed him Right, like exactly. I know, I know when he came out of it, he was like weakened and decrepit and whatnot. But you know, while he was in it, he didn't seem like that. So yeah, Naruto. He was also surprised by the speed. As yeah, well. like he noted that it was unusually fast. Yeah. So Kisame is not KCM level. I mean, it is like Naruto getting faster throughout the fight, but there's just a bunch of reasons as to why Kisame is not KCM level. I just thought I'd clear that up because KCM yeah. is very clearly faster than the signing tier characters. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Right? Like, yeah. I don't think anyone would really disagree with that. No. So <laughs> Kisame, when he's absorbing B's chakra, and he's getting he's getting all this chakra. Samehada is getting happy from all this chakra, and Samehada is actually like transforming alongside this, right? And it's like upping its limit to how much chakra it can absorb. Um, and then you know, obviously, he eventually fuses with the blade. So this round, we're just gonna give Kisame the benefit of the doubt and say that he launched his water bubble and he's fused with his sword. Okay. And in this case. I mean, if he doesn't outright just like take all of Orochimaru's chakra and then, um, you know, leave him for dead or kill him, he could just drown him. Yeah, that's yeah. very true. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> Orochimaru does have weird physiology. So, like, maybe. Yeah, like, is there any kind of weird snake kind of weird thing he's going to do to his body that he just like. I don't know. Can't be drowned. Yeah. Who knows? Uh, but I mean, that, that would be a bit of like, it would be an assumption to make, right? Yeah. You know, like that would be granting Orochimaru a big thing in this matchup. So I, I think it'd be weird to say that he can't drown. So yeah, I think that's a valid win condition for Kisame. Uh, he's also faster than V2B in the bubble. Yes, and sir. since the bubble moves with him, Orochimaru just straight up can't escape. Yeah so um so and, and this is of course assuming that we're using like 
Orochimaru with his arms, by the way, because it's just not a mm. fight at all. If, if he hasn't, yeah, it's not. It's so one-sided. Yeah. The shark transformation just and the water bottle. It's just not going to happen, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, four-tail Naruto is strong. He's not that strong. Um, Obviously, that's just, you know, giving Kisame massive benefit of the doubt. If you yeah. take that benefit of the doubt out and he, say, starts the fight in base, and then when he fuses with Samehada, he only gets the chakra that he would have taken from Orochimaru. He's probably much weaker in that scenario because yes. he doesn't take as much chakra and Samehada is less willing to yeah, take he's not that gonna foul want it then chakra. If one, yeah, if they said that, like, it's not that appealing, <laughs> it's not that nice on the taste buds for, for the sword. Uh, yeah, it's not going to want to take it, is it? So, yeah, it's not going to work in his favor. From Orochimaru. Like, the only added benefit Kisame gets here is that Samehara won't turn on him mid battle. Yeah, he's there not is absorbing that. much in the first place. That mm. doesn't really matter because, like Kisame says, you know, the stronger his opponent is, the stronger he is. But with the foul chakra, it's not really going to come into play. So, I mean, it's probably more of an Orochimaru W there. It's also like, would Orochimaru just sit there and let the water bullet come at him? <laughs> yeah probably not he'd probably just you know retreat or something like that I mean, he is pretty fast so it, like he's I said, a slippery you know, snake taking the benefit of the doubt away it's more so going in orochimaru's favor and then we're talking about orochimaru with a zetsu body which just increases physical uh physical energy because it has hashirama cells and he's got his arms back so he can do other jutsu like if he still has some Edo Tensei corpses ready, he can obviously summon those. Um, and you know whatever other jutsu he needs to have at his disposal, like the Hydra, he can use the Rashomon gates. Even he can use the Rashomon gates to block the water bullet. Mm. But I mean, yeah. All in all, when you when you give Orochimaru all of his stuff and take the benefit away from Kisame, it's not going in his favor again and then it just it gets even worse whenever you start talking about boruto or ochimaru like yeah he, he's just absolutely eviscerating him hmm. but Fair. i mean do you have anything else to say no it's that um kisame's strong we really don't want to downplay him and make it sound like he's weak or anything like that but uh, it's just that orochimaru is like like orochimaru there. at max power is a big deal absolutely you know, he killed absolute two monster. kage very very casually and then at the end of yeah. shipping he's way stronger than he was when he did that so. yeah so i mean he's he's just a threat like it's just that yeah. simple they call him the strongest village enemy for a reason but yeah that, that's pretty much all obviously yeah, subscribe to like i said i called it already <laughs> subscribe to me as well uh, you know like the video and whatnot and uh that's that's it Bye. <laughs> wow, Swag Kage had a very different voice in that video. <laughs> but um, yeah, cool. So, Arashimaru. Yeah, definitely. Dude's a beast. I like the whole comparing moments with Jiraiya and that. And then... Relative. Savvy. Boom. Cool. Anyway, make sure you check out my Etsy shop. Links in the description. T-shirts and hoodies. I've added another T-shirt and I've added another hoodie design this week pretty cool i'm working on them though so there will be better stuff coming out but they still look pretty cool and thank you to my patrons if you want to have your name at the end of every video we upload link in the description of the patreon page one dollar a month is the last support channel it's greatly appreciated thank you guys for that thank you all for watching what you guys think of that what you guys think of this click like subscribe if you haven't already leave comments down below let me know that you watch this discuss in future videos i'll see you guys all you guys next time